Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and it's Sunday so it's time for this week's news AFN news and we've got a bunch of stuff this week including Let's Edge Figure Arts, Star Wars, G.I. Joe so so much more enjoy guys and starting off today with SH Figure Arts Bluefin Brands had their very had a live stream last weekend and what they revealed was something the fans have been asking for for a long long time they revealed SH Figure Arts Bandai Tomasi Nations Bardock father of Goku and that figure looks absolutely incredible I cannot wait to, to get him straight away I want him um, there's there's not even a question of it uh, SH Figure Arts Bardock finally coming so hopefully like this has been a want for a while so hopefully this means the likes of Radix could be possibly announced in the future they have said there's going to be more stuff announced next month so get your wallets ready folks and also the Marvel Select Taskmaster is now available you can see him here in the pictures he is going to be an exclusive to shop Disney and shop Marvel and the Disney store and he looks absolutely incredible He's going to have 16 points of articulation special collector's edition so this guy looks really nice Again, I'm not a fan of the scale for Marvel Select, but he does look really cool. Um, it's kind of like the, what was it, the Marvel Legends one that was released in the, in the Infinity War Wave 1. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Check out the details in the pictures I've shown and make up your own mind. And briefly on to some WWE news on our figure show. But yeah, so Mattel have revealed their entertainment art. SDCC exclusive figure and it looks amazing it's a Mr. T figure that comes in an awesome retro box as well and um, this is from his Wrestlemania appearances was it one and two he appeared in both but uh, Mr. T of course also was put into the WWE Hall of Fame not so long ago and had that infamous speech about his mama so this is going to be uh, up for pre-order at $30 and we'll ship in July from Entertainment Dirt hopefully we can get it over here because I really want him and I don't want to pay ringside collectibles prices so Mattel get him over here please and some NECA news now NECA has shared some in-package photos of their upcoming Godzilla 12 inch head to tail figure from Godzilla vs Biolante Biolante from 1989 and this is scheduled to ship next month, July 13th, if I'm correct. And this will be about 6 inches tall with 30 points of articulation. So the standard NECA stuff from Godzilla here, or the standard Godzilla stuff from NECA here, whichever. But this, he, he looks really nice. He's got scales on the back and the whole lot. Very cool figure. I would love a massive scale Godzilla. 6 inch Godzilla, when it's about the same height as my Marvel Legends there just doesn't seem right to me that's why i've never jumped on the line so on to some of the hasbro news hasbro did a live stream on hasbro pulse and they announced the winner of the archive fan vote is clone commander cody um lot he's a highly wanted figure obviously and yeah so they're going to be doing a new cody and um, also they announced some uh, empire strikes back black series figures the hot rebel soldier boba fett Chewbacca, Snowtrooper, Darth Vader and Dagobah Luke Skywalker all on the vintage car back and of course they also announced this pretty awesome hand and carbonite set now the, the kicker about this is to complete the set you're going to have to buy two and they're about $50 or 45 euros they're going to be so that's a hundred quid to make this pretty small play set I don't know if it's going to be packed in with a Stormtrooper as well, I think. So whether you're going to buy that or not, that's up to you. They also un unveiled some um, vintage collection 3.75 figures. Uh, Chirrut Imwe from Rogue One and Bespin Carbonite Han and Bespin Escape Princess Leia. So let me know what you think about those ones. There is some new pictures doing the rounds of the Mafex. Mafex, Mafex, DC Comics Hush figure. Now this guy looks absolutely amazing. 
Um, like I, I, I've not read Hush yet. I have both parts, and I do intend to, to what to read them. I've seen the animated movie, which is sort of different, but this guy looks really class. He's gonna come out, come with three, three heads, interchangeable hands, two pistols, and more. So, yeah, guys, this is a, this is actually um based on Jason Todd Hush, who was eventually revealed to be Clayface in disguise. So keep an eye on that one, it's going to be pretty awesome. No pricing or release date yet. And sticking with Mayfix for a second, they have also revealed their latest Mayfix figure based on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And it is Spider-Gwyn and Spider-Ham. Spider-Gwyn will include multiple masked and unmasked heads, interchangeable hands and webbing effects. Also included is an in-scale Spider-Ham figure, which is probably going to be just like a little statue thing. But he will include swap out arms for different poses. And just back to the Mayfex figures for a moment. I have found further information that tells me both Hush and Spider-Gwen and Spider-Ham are, are scheduled at the moment for an April 2021 release. With Spider-Gwen looking about 92 US dollars and Hush about 83. So yeah, sorry about that guys. And sticking with NECA for the moment, they have also revealed in package photos of their next Turtles in Time Wave. Scheduled for release around July. It includes Shredder, Raphael, Michelangelo and Leatherhead. Who was one of my favourite villains from watching the, the show and playing the games years ago. These absolutely look phenomenal. And now on to Predator. So NECA has unveiled their NECA Ultimate Stalker Predator. And their Ultimate Guardian Predator from Predator 2. Of course... Nick are going to do the whole Lost Tribe in the Ultimates line, I think. So, both of these are coming out pretty soon. I think October there or thereabouts. And they're up for pre-order in most places now. So, go check those guys out if you're a big Predator fan. And see what you think, if you're going to buy them or not. And sticking with TMNT and Super 7 have revealed their Ultimates line. Wave 3 <coughs> of Michelangelo, Rocksteady, Shell, Metalhead... I can never get it right, Shellhead, Metalhead, and a very strange looking April O'Neil. Like I said last week about Conan, the face sculpt wasn't great. Um, yeah, April doesn't look great either, does she? I'm not a big fan of this look at all at all. But um, yeah, and the, with these pre these figures being priced at 45 quid each, they're supposed to, the pre-orders are going to close the end of July 26th. So if, you want, if you're going to get these, check them out soon, guys. Mezgo Toys is bringing back the Silent Screamers line for their 112th collection. And this week they unveiled Count Orlok from Nosferatu, who is probably the go-to guy when you think of the early, earliest things of vampires. And that looks absolutely class. It's going up for pre-order Monday. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye on that. He looks amazing. I would love to have him in my collection as a big vampire fan. And the guys over at Valverse who have taken on the Action Force line and expecting delivery of their first wave the end of this year have partnered up with Sergeant Slaughter to bring him to the line. And they did an awesome promo as well, which you can check out over on their uh, Kickstarter. I think I'll leave the, the link in the description anyway. But yeah, he looks awesome. With me, with me buying some of the G.I. Joes lately. I kind of need this guy. He looks rapid. Rapid. That's such a limerick word. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this Sergeant Slaughter looks really, really cool. And it's great to see the Sarge still looking the same as well in the promo. He hasn't aged a day unless you take that hat off and reveal the bald head underneath. And Hasbro have revealed a six inch non-transformable Transformers line. To, in the same scale as their Marvel Legends and their other similar ways, Power Rangers, Ghostbusters, all those. This is going to be Transformers Red, robot enhanced design. And the first wave includes Megatron, Optimus Prime and Soundwave, all based on their G1 classic looks. Um, my first thought when I saw these was when and where can I buy them? So I've pre-ordered the first three to see if they're good or not and if Hasbro get this get this um if they get this line right 
I feel it could be a massive, massive money maker for them. So let's see how the first three turn out. They're expected to drop between August and September, there thereabouts. So yeah, we'll I'll be having reviews of those when they arrive. So keep an eye out for the news and more stuff like that. Also yesterday, Hasbro on their live Hasbro Pulse G.I. Joe stream, they announced wave two of the G.I. Joe collection, classified series. I can never think of that. But they unveiled Pimp Daddy Destro. Yes, that was what he was known as. But Destro with the, the leopard skin thing and burning money. And yeah, he looks class. And they also revealed Gun Hole, who looks great. And they revealed a modern red ninja and a, a Cobra Commander as well. Now they've revealed the light blue Cobra Commander will be Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Mm. Why Hasbro, why? But any, anyway, they also revealed the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, which a lot of people have not been happy with at all. I had that figure when I was a kid, the four inch one, the little one. And I, my, my one thought of that figure when I was a young kid was, why can't I have the white Storm, storm Shadow? Which is exactly what I think now. So, yeah, that's been this week's news, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll drop me a follow and a like and a subscribe. And all the nice things that you can do. And, yeah. So, hope you had a great weekend, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye!